Alright, my name is Querweed 2004 and I play World of Tanks and this time I play the British Tier 8 Heavy Tank. Um, I only try that once. I think it's pronounced Carnivan and um, yeah, I wanted to give you a little bit of my thoughts and uh, my experience with the tank so maybe uh, you can get something out of it. And I brought you two clips. At the end of both clips, or at the end of the video, I could say, um, I will announce the winner of the last uh, contest. And the winner will get a copy of Torchlight 1. So, uh, But back to the tank. As I said, it's a heavy tank. Um, it comes with the typical uh, around about 15, 1600 hit points for a tier 8. So that's pretty normal. Uh, it needs that, uh, it really needs that, but I'll come back to that uh, in a minute. Um, it has a very accurate accurate gun, and it's very precise, and um, it needs that. <laughs> I said that already, I know, but it really needs that. Okay, uh, the gun is a DPM gun, so it... Uh, is tailored to damage per minute not for uh, alpha damage as you can see in the damage uh, figures I'm putting out here. Um, <coughs> on a constant basis I am able to pull off uh, three and a half to four thousand damage games while well, not constant but you know every every other game every third game you know there is a high damage um, gameplay so that is not too bad. Um, what I particularly like about this gun is fast reload time. I think, uh, except of course the French guns with the auto loaders, this has by far the fastest firing gun in tier 8. And uh, its penetration values are uh, decent enough in order to penetrate tier 8, tier 7s. You run into problems when you try to penetrate tier 9s, but it's definitely possible. I wouldn't, uh, I, I wouldn't say you know you you can't penetrate tier 9 at all, but you should be know you should know what you're doing when you face up when you're facing a tier 9 tank uh, in this thing. So. Um, before I go to the hit points and the armor, I wanted to go uh, about the um, agility and uh, you know the overall maneuverability of this tank. Um, it is relatively quick uh, from zero to its high speed, which isn't that mu uh, that high, but it keeps up the speed. You know, when you go through the terrain and you uh, climb a, a wee slope or you, you go up the hill, it doesn't go down significantly as is the case for the other tier 8 heavies. So um, acceleration and upkeep of, uh, of a top speed, not top speed, but a relatively high speed when you go through the terrain is, uh, uh, is, a, is a neat feature, I think. Um, <coughs> It turns so so uh, on its tracks, and the uh, how's it called? The uh, traverse of the turret is all right as well. So that is not a complaint in that department. Average, I'd say, but um, um, it is tailored to the overall kind of feel of the tank. How it feels, you know, it's not really a medium. You know, the agility and the responsiveness and when you try to maneuver around it's not just like a, it's not like a medium but it's you know it's in between a medium and a heavy tank uh, that is how it feels to me and uh, that is what makes the tank quite attractive to me as well but now to the thing that I would say is definitely not on the on the uh, on the positive side for the tanks I said it needs it needs the hit point buffer and it really needs it because um, you have a bounce every once in a while but I think pretty much everything from tier 5 upwards with a decent gun or even with a half decent gun can penetrate you you know left right and center doesn't matter um, you tend to bounce on medium to uh, long range but 
that's the case for any um, uh, for any tank I would say yeah so what you really need to embrace uh, is this playing style taking advantage of the rapid fire uh, rapidly firing gun like so you fire some uh, you fire a shot you uh, go back and you know that stuff because most of the tanks that you are facing in this tank uh, cannot match your, the reload time of your uh, gun so you will be able to put two shells or even three shells into them when um, when they only can t uh, put one shell into you so that is quite quite all right and if you start utilizing that um, um, and start you know getting used to it and you know getting close to maximum uh, performance of that gun you are able to put a decent amount of damage out per uh, game that is for sure um, yeah that is uh, that is the fact you know as I see it uh, it is as I have experienced that about this tank now I wanted to talk a little bit about um, I was having I, I I had problems getting used to this uh, game style. It took me, you know, literally four days ago. I think I I got this tank, and then what I did, I played I I played quite a, you know a while only this tank exclusively. So I am into 60. So yeah, I think. Well, I don't want to exaggerate on purpose, but I think something between 60 and 65,000 XP now. And um, yeah, it it took that. I think it took twenty five thousand XP for me to get used to this, um, to this kind of uh, playstyle. But uh, I would say it is a very decent tier eight tank, and there's uh, not much to complain about other than the lack of. Um, bouncing <laughs> I would say if you can say so um, yeah I don't know um, just a, you know just a quick update I will I will be out of country uh, for three weeks as of 5th of April uh, I will I will be in the States uh, in uh, San Francisco Bay Area Bay Area well in, in San Mateo to be on uh, to be precise um that is a business trip for three weeks I don't know if I can put something up um, during that time as I don't know if I can play I only have a Mac book available and um, yeah I have uh, Windows installed on it it has a GeForce mobile graphics adapter but um, yeah I will be busy working I can't you know, <laughs> you know end of story <laughs> if I put something out I put something out if not then well tough luck but as I said in my previous video um, in the giveaway video actually I will keep continue posting uh, videos um, but and plan uh, my idea is that I will um, get back to a to a higher post count um, again after my trip to the United States uh, hopefully I can do so but uh, if not you know even if I post uh, less and less but I keep posting because I keep playing the game so um, <clears throat> something about the, uh, the actual um, game that I will give away it will be Torchlight as the um, Torchlight 1 that is um, and the winner please contact me uh, per private message on YouTube and um, let me know your uh, Steam ID and with that Steam ID please request uh, me on uh, request me on um, uh, on Steam. So let's see who will be the winner. The tension rises. Oh no, Mr. Darkstar! Congratulations, mate. Just uh, 
contact me on um, YouTube. I give you my Steam name and then uh, uh, you can give me your Steam name and then we can get it sorted. Thanks a lot. And um, guys, if you like the video, just uh, uh, hit the like button. And um, if you like my voice and um, my arms and ass, just uh, hit subscribe as well. And I see you guys later.